So, quite a lot has, has happened since I recorded the tutorial and lots of people have mentioned different things that they want to see or that they're looking forward to seeing, which is awesome. I'm not quite ready to move on to the dynamic landing pages. That is something that I'm excited about doing. Um, right now, I am looking to get the site live as soon as possible. And for that reason, I've been focusing on the profile aspect of things and then the tools because the tools are the main marketing source. These are going to be SEO tools. So although I didn't do SEO, I didn't do a keyword research to create the tools or to find the tools, this is going to be significantly more tools than you would have seen in the last video. If you've not gone to check out the website, the, the preview link is in the description, but I've added a bunch of tools. And again, I definitely recommend if you're adding tools to do keyword research to make sure that you're not wasting your time because the tools are a good way to get traffic to the site, free traffic to the site. And then you want to try and convert those in whichever way uh, that makes sense for your business. So for me, these tools are beneficial to the user of the platform regardless. So whether they are SEO or not, if people are looking for one rep max tools or not, it doesn't really matter. They're still going to be optimized. They're still going to be available to use. And then at the end of after every tool, there's going to be some SEO copy. And then there's going to be this CTA, which is already built into the template. So you can tell it to um, build these CTAs at the end of every specific page. And it's going to do it in the same way that the nav bar shows up on every page and the footer shows up on every page. These are reusable uh, components and this is something that I've done. So you can change how you want it to look. You can add images, but this is the CTA and it's going to send them to the coaching page. Um, but the main thing is building these tools. This is uh, this is a problem. Again, it's behind the back to tools button is behind the nav bar, so I need to add a margin. But the main thing is getting all these tools ready, getting them set up for SEO. And then also these are free tools, but then now something I didn't manage to capture just because of the sensitive nature of the setup is the Stripe integration. But I know that is very, uh, people, loads of people would want to know how to integrate Stripe. It's not that hard when you're using Lovable. I did find a lot more issues using Windsurf, but if you put it in test mode and you create the product, so this is not test mode, but if you create the product, uh, you make you do everything in Stripe and then you tell Lovable that you've created the product. So you create it as you normally would. You put all the description, uh, you set it up, whether it's a one-time payment, monthly, whatever it is, you set it up completely and then you go to Lovable and you tell the bot that you have created this product and you give it the price ID. Now, it also needs to set this up in Superbase, which is where it gets a bit complicated. You need to set up webhooks so, so it can send signals back to Superbase to let you know when somebody has signed up. So when a customer signs up, when they cancel their subscription, all of those things, it needs to send a signal and it does that with webhooks. So once you tell it that, you give it the price ID so it can create the payment, the checkout, uh, the checkout page or the payment page. And then once you've got that done, it's going to ask for the uh, secret, uh, which is the, it's like your password, so very um, sensitive. And you're gonna put that in the edge function. And I think a pop-up box does come to let you put it in on Lovable, which is good. Um, but you also do need to set up webhooks and you'll go through that whole process. So I would definitely recommend trying to, just in the same way that you set Superbase up in Lovable, I would recommend trying to do that within your token range before you export this and start doing building out the back end in Windsurf. So I'm making sure I do the things that I know are tedious in Lovable because it now has the super base integration, which takes away a lot of the pain. And I mean a lot of the pain because 
getting webhooks and Stripe integration wrong, things like cause issues, having cause issues, they're not fun. When I say cause, I mean C-O-R-S, and you will come, you will come in contact with those. They are not fun. So having a tool that talks to all of the data is very, very beneficial. So make sure you do that. So that's why I wanted to set Stripe up now. Um, and again, what I've done, I've not set up the online coaching for Stripe. I've added these tools. And as you can see, I've got members only. So what I need to do now is make a payment gate. So anybody can use all the free tools, but then in order to use uh, some of these other tools, these are not, I've not really gone through to make sure the most valuable tools are gated, but you go through and then you tell uh, Lovable or whichever tool you're using that this needs to be behind the premium membership gate. And then it's going to help you do that. It's going to give a, a pop-up message to say, that in order to use this tool, you can you have to start a subscription, click here, and that's just gonna funnel them over. But because the main purpose of the tools is to attract traffic and build and all of those things, I want them to be free. I that that's not the main value of the site, but some things add to the value of the offer, which is the monthly membership. So that's what I'm building out. So again, bunch more tools, lots of them work got this uh, macro split calculator awesome 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 and then like I said I've got the SEO copy here and then another SEO feature is internal links so linking to other tools and this is going to keep people on the page for longer this is again going to be beneficial from an SEO perspective because you've got internal links to related things and you've got all the copy around the link so uh, CTA at the bottom but the profile needs still needs a bit of work, so that's the main thing I'm focusing on, building out the profile, uh, being able to set goals, have milestones, all of those things are a lot harder than they look. Building a dashboard is a lot harder than it looks. And again, I wanna do as much of this as I can before I move it to Windsurf, because Windsurf is for tweaks, it's for really building out the back end. Uh, but also, once you move the project, there's a lot more room for things to go wrong. So trying to make sure I do all the things that matter here. And as I said, it's integrated the Stripe subscription with the uh, the profile backend. So if I click start membership, it brings me to the Stripe page. It's not gonna load here because it's uh, trying to connect to the live uh, key rather than the test key. So I do need to change that. But um, yeah, let me uh, go back. So a few other changes I've made since the last video you'll notice is there's a video playing in the background and it was very important that I wanted this video to be there but I also had to compress and make sure I'd done it right because I've seen things like this on other sites. Um, let's fix whatever's going on here. Some issues going on in the background. I think it's trying to do something in the profile. So then it fix that. Looks like our AI had a bit of a hiccup and broke the app. That's not good. I hope that's not going to cost me to fix. It seems to be trying to fix it. Okay. As I was saying, so I wanted this feature, I think is a nice touch to it. Most personal training sites have these static, static uh, blog images, stock images of these happy people doing squats or just something not very engaging. So having the video in the background, definitely a nice touch. Um, but I had to compress the video, so it had to be about 12 seconds long, and 12 seconds long below two megabytes without compromising on the quality. And then I had to upload that to Superbase. So on Superbase, you have storage buckets. 
I think I showed some of that before. So the storage bucket could be for private things being held. So if your user wants to upload their transformation pictures or things they don't want to be public, they just want to store in their profile, then you're going to have different security. It's not going to be in a, pri a public bucket. It's going to be in a, a private bucket. And then you've got other buckets for basic things on the site. So your blog images, of course, they're public. Uh, videos like this, they're public. So I had to upload that to a public bucket. And then I told Lovable and then it's integrated that in the hero. So I said, add this vid video to the hero section and it did it. It knew exactly what I wanted to do and it made it dark and perfect, exactly what I wanted and it just keeps looping. So that was one thing I changed. It's just an aesthetic thing. I also added services. So one-to-one -one coaching, eight week physique, um, just different offerings. These will of course be productized. That's gonna be a one-to-one -one service and that's going to be a course and then the membership. So fully, fully monetized personal training site, ready to go. It's got this section here selling the premium membership. We've got about the trainer and this was another thing I was particularly happy about and it integrated this correct the first time. I didn't have to keep prompting. So it had a testimonial section, but it was static testimonials, just text anyone can fabricate. So, <clears throat> so I thought this was a nice touch embedding the Instagram, which plays immediately, which is awesome doesn't go anywhere externally it just plays and then of course you've got it uh, animated so perfectly integrated and then this is the standard Instagram button it can go over to the Instagram page so video testimonials awesome uh, other stock things that need to be changed and then this section for exploring the tools so that's the main thing uh, get in touch oh this is another thing I wanted to speak on um the contact forms that you can create are phenomenal. So you can create, you can categorize this and you can, I've actually got to change this, but you can get it to collect your leads in Superbase. So you don't, you don't have to connect it to an external CRM. You don't have to connect it to HubSpot or anything else. You can use Superbase. And then because we can now integrate AI in many ways, you can, in, you can automate a lot of the things that you would do. Typically, if you were going to set up and make automation, you can do that with Superbase. And that's how I'm going to build the dynamic pages. I'm using Superbase to store the data and then I'm gonna send that back and forth. So again, I can show it better than I can tell it. So I just wanted to mention that, but I definitely plan on making an entire video going through how I'm gonna set up those d dynamic pages because is, is valuable information, you don't wanna miss that. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, what else have I done? Uh, the blog content now shows nothing because I'm signed in as an admin and I've cleared the, uh, the dummy information. So now I can add posts. I've got draft posts here and I'm having a bit of issues because I'm trying to integrate perplexity. As I mentioned, I'm integrating perplexity into the back end so I can do the research and then edit. So I'm, I'm not gonna be doing complete AI blog posts. I'm gonna give Perplexity the topics, the keywords, things like that. It's gonna do the research and come up with a draft and then we will go in and we will actually make the content from that. So nothing is completely AI generated, which is the best way to do it. And, um, and of course, again, this is the, I don't think I'd built this at the time, but this is the basic CMS, the content management system uh, for SEO. So the title, the excerpt, meta description, the only thing I've not added is to be able to add the page slug, which is very important, but you can upload a featured image, uh, put your content, and then we've got these uh, style uh, features, um, bold, italic, h2, h h1, and those wonderful things, um, undo, redo, and then post tags. So that's another thing. And in here, we've got the online coaching offer. Definitely needs more text. But this this is the page I'm gonna build out, which is going to be used to make the dynamic pages. And that's just gonna consist of adding different components to make sure that 
the keywords that we're targeting are being covered everywhere. So if it's saying uh, martial arts, fitness, online martial arts coaching or online martial arts training classes, the pages are going to be optimized for that search. So that's going to take a lot of keyword research. That's going to take adding the data and the blocks. So talking to Lovable to let it know what I'm doing and then adding that information into Superbase. And then that's going to help it create those dynamic pages uh, with the help of AI. And uh, live classes, I've added this calendar feature. So again, if you are logged in as an admin, you can add a new class. This button will not show up for users, but you can add new classes. And um, I think ideally I want to sync it to Google Calendar, which is going to take IP, IP, API, it's going to take an API set uh, integration. So I have to go over to Google Dev and set that up. But for now, it works for an admin to just add classes. And, um, and that's the main thing. These are going to be for premium users. So the premium users can access unlimited classes anytime. And uh, non-premium users, if they try to join a class, it's going to obviously prompt them to create an account. So that's, I think that's it for the changes. Something's wrong with the profile at the moment. So that needs to fix. But I think that's it for the changes I've made. And hopefully the next video is me doing the dynamic pages because it's going to take a while to get through those. Let's go back. It's going to take me a while to build out all of these tools and set up the premium member gate. So I think I've built all the fitness tools in this section up to hydration calculator. Which is awesome. And save to profile needs fixing. Every time I create a, a tool, and I try to do save, it doesn't do it automatically. I have to get it to build the function to save to profile. So every time I need to add this to the database and that's why it comes up with this issue. Um, so I will use that. But every time I have to get it to add something that it misses, that's costing me a message. And somebody asked me if I prefer Lovable's pricing, if I can get more out of Lovable's pricing compared to Bolt, see there it is adding, adding to the SQL. Um, honestly, I prefer Bolt's pricing because the tokens can be managed a bit better. So if you're low on tokens or if you know that you're using loads of tokens doing things, you can optimize how you prompt and preserve your tokens better. Whereas lovable is messages. So every time I send a message, that's a token. And sometimes I'm having to correct things that I didn't do. Um, and that's costing me a message. So it does seem like the lovable ones run out more, but I've also managed to build a lot more in lovable than in bolt because of what I've learned as I've went on. So things I've learned about Superbase, things I've learned about Stripe, things I've learned about prompting, they stack, those skills stack. So you can save more tokens over time. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's that's the only update I've got for now. Again, if you want to check the site out, you can. The link is in the description. You can see what I'll be building, what I've built in the time that I've not been making the video and uh, follow along with it that way. And when it goes live, you'll see it go live. When I make the dynamic pages, you'll see me do all of that. But yeah, that's it drop a like, drop a comment, definitely helps, helps the channel, helps me with morale and making these videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.